so at this event at, at Superbooth 17 in Berlin, uh, we are displaying and demoing our new lit series LYD, that is the Danish word for sound. And we have a lit 5 with a 5 inch woofer, we have a lit 7 with a 7 inch woofer, the lit 8 with the 8 inch woofer. And very, very brand new, this is the only existing model in Europe right now, is a three-way speaker, which is called a LED 48. And people may know bigger Dyna Audio Pro speakers from the Air Series range. There you had three-way systems. Now this is the first follow-up, tiny one, but a three-way three -way system again. It's Class D amplification. It's 80 watts for the woofer. 50 watts for the tweeter and 50 watts for the mid-range, so it's a 3 amp monitor. We have a dedicated amplifier for each driver. And do you do the crossover in DSP? Yes. Internally it's working at uh, 96k 24-bit. It's totally digital internally. Here on the back you can see that you simply connect your source via RCA or very, very common in Pro Audio with our Balanced um, XLR. XLR. So, but fully analog. Yeah. The connector. Afterwards, internally digital. It needs to be digital to work all those functions here. As you can see, you can select between maximum sound pressure level or lowest bass. This is called the bass extension. So you can go for the deepest end. Or you can go for the maximum volume. Right. Uh, this here is called uh, the tilt filter, the sound balance. You can set it from bright to neutral to dark, and it will tilt the entire soundscape of the speaker so you will have it brighter or darker instead of. A lot of people know, and we did that in former times as well, they have tiny switches for low, mid, and high frequency. Those switches have bad effect on your face. So this will just change and adapt the speaker to your room without having negative effect on uh, the face. And last but not least, it's, it's a position EQ. Uh, because DSP based, you can just tell the monitor where it's placed, how it has to behave. Like it's neutral without any object or it's standing close to a wall, for example, with the base port in the rear, it's good to adapt it. It's 499 euros. Yeah, 499. Yeah. So 1, 1, 1, 000, 000 euros repair. Yeah. yeah. We are 499, 599, 699, and 1099. And it's all handcrafted in Denmark. So the same as you may know from Hi-Fi, we build our own drivers. We have just opened a new R&D center. I think it's second to none in, in the Hi-Fi industry. I've never seen anything like that, at least. The new measurement uh, facilities are... Basically, it's not an anahoric chamber as you would traditionally see. It's basically made so big that the first reflections arrive so late that you don't, you, you can avoid them in the measurements. It's the biggest in Europe, I guess.